Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to make an 80s boogie beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I'm going to start by setting the project tempo to 106 beats per minute, but I'm not going to assign a project key yet because I want to use some musical audio content from BandLab Sounds, and I'd like to allow myself some flexibility when it comes to what key the track is in. The first part I'm going to compose is a drum pattern. I create a virtual instrument track and set it to drums, drum pads, Prince kit, which gives me some cool 80s drum machine sounds to play with. I add snares and claps in the second and fourth beat of the bar, with kicks on the first and third beat, and on the 16th before the third beat. I then add closed hats on eighth notes. I duplicate the one bar sequence out. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. For the second bar, I move the closed hat before the fourth beat up so it plays an open hat instead. I then duplicate the two bars out. And at the end of the fourth bar, I add a tom fill. I turn this track down to minus 9 dB so that we have headroom to add other elements. Next, I'd like some additional percussion, so I open BandLab Sounds, select the Loops tab, and enter Shaker into the text search field. Backstreet's Shaker 03 is the sort of thing I want, so I drag it into the project and turn its volume level down to minus 1 dB to balance it with the existing drum sounds. I use the loop handle at the top right hand corner of the clip to loop it out for the 4 bar sequence. I'd like this element to have a touch of reverb on it, so I open up the effects panel and turn the reverb send up to 70%. Now it's time to add some music. I want a rhythm guitar in this track, so in BandLab Sounds I enter Disco Guitar into the text search field to get something with a suitable feel. Classic Disco Guitar 01 is exactly what I'm looking for, so I drag it into the project. BandLab asks if I want to change the project key of the track to the key of the loop, B minor, but I'm not sure that's the key the track is going to end up in, so I select Don't Set. I lower this track's volume to minus 3 dB. I have a rhythm guitar sample I can base some music around now, and next I want to work out what's going on musically in the loop. I create a virtual instrument track and set it to keyboards, synth leads, funky clav. I set this track to minus 12.3 dB. I sequence a simple part that follows the rhythm and chord root notes of the guitar loop. This is pretty simple for this two chord groove, and just plays a D followed by an E. I'd like this clav part to have a more natural feel, so in the effects panel I add a modulation stereo chorus effect. I'd also like some reverb, and I add a reverb studio reverb, setting the mix to 1.6 and the size to 1.4. Next I'm going to add some keys, and flesh out what's going on musically. I add an instrument track and set it to keyboards, pianos, Wurlitzer. 
I set this track to minus 13.5 dB. I add some chords that reflect what's going on in the rhythm guitar part. D major, followed by E major. Again, I'd like this part to feel more organic and smooth. So I add a modulation phase 72 effect, setting its speed to 0.8. I then add a studio reverb with a mix of 4.7 and a size of 3.7. Now it's time to add a bass line. I add an instrument track and set it to basses, synth basses, deep house. This gives me a fat, analog-style bass sound. I set this track to minus 3 dB. I duplicate the MIDI over from the clav track. I select all the notes and click the minus 12 button three times to transpose them down three octaves. This gives me an extremely simple bass line that I'll use for the verse. I want to make a variation on the bass line for the chorus, so I duplicate the 4-bar section out. I edit the bass line of the new section to have a more excitable rhythm with some octave skipping, plus an additional A note at the end to lift things up. I want another sound to help drive the chorus, so I add another instrument track and this time select Basses, Synth Basses, Fancy Bass. I turn this track down to minus 13.6 dB. I program in a very simple part on 16th notes that plays the D followed by the E. I want to thin this sound out and add more definition in the mids and highs. So in the effects panel, I add a tone, EQ3M, setting the low gain to minus 6.6 .6 dB, the mid gain to plus 4 dB, and the high gain to plus 19 dB. I also add a stereo chorus. I'd like another element to help me with the arrangement, so I add another instrument track and set this one to Strings, String Orchestra. I turn this track down to minus 14.7 dB. For this part again, I just follow the root note of the chords, D and E. I add a studio reverb, turning the mix up to its maximum and the size down to its minimum. Before I lay out the arrangement, I want to settle on a project key to help any potential collaborators. The track is predominantly based around D major so I set the project key to D major. For the arrangement, I start with an 8-bar drum and guitar intro. Then the shakers and bass come in for the verse. I add the strings to make a pre-chorus that lifts up from the verse to the chorus. In the chorus, the Wurlitzer and the rhythm synth are added. In the second half of the chorus, the clav and string are added too. After the chorus, the verse, 
pre-chorus, chorus pattern repeats. Then at bar 72, we have a bridge. Here just the drums and whirlitzer play, and the chords are changed up. This time they play D major, F sharp minor, E major. Then we have another verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!